Right, what you're looking at here is the OBS software. So to get this, you would actually come onto Google and just type in OBS, and then it should be one of the first links, but you're looking for open broadcast software. And if you click on that, then it will prompt you to download it for your platform, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, whichever you're using, and just download and, and go through those, those steps. Once you've done that, you should have on your main screen, over here on the left here, this OBS logo. So then if you click on that and open it up, you should see something that looks like this. And this black rectangle is your cinema screen, basically. It's your the, the working pad, which you can then stream onto YouTube. Where if you come down here and you see this start streaming phrase, if you were to click on that, when you've got it all linked up properly, which doesn't take long at all, um, you just need one password, basically, which is generated whenever you go live in YouTube. Just let that load up. So whenever you go live, oh, come on, there we go. Uh, down here in the stream settings column, after you put in all of the information and details, in the stream settings over here, um, you can actually you get like this password, and when you just copy that password into on settings stream, and then you put that password into there, apply it, and then this cinema screen is now linked up to the YouTube stream that you've just created. So in order to actually make something then, you come down in, into here. Now you've got scenes down here. These are basically like chapters. So you can add as many different uh, scenes as you want to. And each one represents you know, whatever sh is showing on the screen. So if you just want to have your webcam, for example, then you add something. So you add a source into scene two. You add video capture, create new, and then your webcam. So now that's th this is me live talking uh, on this screen capture, and you can maximize that, put it in the center of the screen. So then whenever you're on YouTube and you select scene two, or the one that one there, whichever one you want to do, then whatever you've put onto this rectangle in scene two will play. So it could be that you have yourself large on scene, scene two, and then on scene three, you can have yourself again. So just add an existing video, so that's you again. But you might also choose to have a bit of a background if you've got, I don't know, learning objectives or instructions or you know, whatever you want, really. But then you could just add, add a picture. So if you make it in PowerPoint and then just screen grab it or something, I'll just put that one in there. And then put that one, use the arrow there just to sort out the order. You can now stream, you know, whatever's on that rectangle. So you can start by introducing them in scene two, which is the main image. Then if you want to progress, move on to scene three, then you can start talking about different learning objectives. Uh, and then if you wanted to play a video, scene four, add media source. Okay. And that's where you can then go into your videos. So if I just pick something, so put this one on. So you've now got that video playing. So if you wanted to do something over the top of it, then again, you could just add in a video capture device, add existing, okay. So now that's me live talking about the pre-recorded video that's currently going on. So you can, and again, this is all playing on YouTube. It's all streaming live as you see. Um, and what you can see uh, down here in the center, the media source has got its volume going. So the people watching on YouTube will be able to hear that video. If you don't want them that, it's just a visual demonstration and you can mute that and no more sound is gonna be sent from that video out onto onto the stream but as you can see the microphone is still is still working so they'll be able to hear you talking and watch that video in the background now whenever you flick between the two different scenes because you can't play and pause that video that's playing in the background so when you switch again you've already set this scene up so you can go back to the learning objectives back to the, the order of the lesson if you were to go back into the next scene the video would start again from the beginning. So if you did want to show some videos, then have them pre-recorded 10, 15, 20 second clips of whatever the demonstration is, 
and you can create as many scenes as you want and add in as many different as many different media sources as you want in the different scenes and just put your camera on over the top and you can flip between all of them nice and easily. Um, so that's that's OBS and obviously to, to start it like I already said you just click start streaming and then that would uh, well I know hold on I haven't actually put a stream key uh, hasn't actually got a stream key that's valid in there at the moment so that would be there you go so you see that green button there so that's now going onto a onto a live stream but it's not currently on YouTube so it's not going anywhere uh, but yeah that's where you would then link up stop that uh, so if I just put here test, make it private, uh, not make kids, create stream. So in order to go live, you would come down into here, stream key, oh, stream key. So this one here, doesn't really matter what it looks like. Uh, but copy, come back to OBS, go into settings, stream and you paste that stream key into there. Apply. Okay, so now when you click start streaming, that will start sort of firing up, firing away. What I would then do is forget about it on YouTube. Don't watch yourself on YouTube because you do have that 20, 30 second lag. What you'll see going around here, hopefully in about five seconds, it will, it will all connect up. Give it a second, give it a second, there you go. So it's all connected up and it should have whatever's on OBS here, but it should be on YouTube, there you go. So that's me from 20 seconds ago. So then all you need to do then is share that YouTube link, copy, send that out to all of the kids and you can do that prior to then clicking live. So hit that blue button and then you are live on YouTube. Um, so as soon as you are, minimize that and then just go from OBS. So, hi guys, welcome to, welcome to today's lesson. We're gonna be looking at some basketball today. Uh, the learning objectives are written on the screen, as you can see. Um, and then the first demonstration that you need to do is this video. You can then play that video. Now, we, now that we've watched it, go back to these things here. Did it work? What can you see? What can't you see? Uh, let me know in the comments. So give me, give me an answer. Let me know in the comments. And then what you can do, is then jump back onto YouTube, and then you can wait for them to, you know, type something into the into the chat box, and you can respond with voice uh, to the people that are talking. Um, so yeah, I think that pretty much uh, covers it. But yeah, there you go. Hope that helps. 